Are you tired already of feeding the long, young lion that will destroy you? Or maybe you still have some more food. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. This is going to be hot. Let me say it again. Are you tired of feeding the young lion that's destined to destroy you? Or you still have some more food? Okay. Now let me, let me put it in another way for you. Are you tired of taking care of people who are not there for you? Who will never be there for you, have never been there for you? But are only there because of what you're doing for them and never for what they should give to you or do for you? Or you still have more time? Do you have more time to waste for these people thinking they will get better? Thinking they will get better, thinking they will love you, thinking they will be there for you, thinking they will think like you, thinking they will... Are you still waiting after five long years for this person to understand that you want marriage? Oh, okay. Oh, he gonna change. Okay. See, I don't know why we think we can change people that much. I don't know who told us, who sold us the... Oh, media. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's number one. Well, not only media... Your family could be at fault, and of course you. I don't know who told you that if someone doesn't want you after two years, that eventually they'll want you in 10 years. Let me, let me give you this scenario, and this is especially for the ladies, because you, you people make this mistake, and then you people are the first to cry. Okay? There was this lady, she stayed with a man through the thick and thin, like in the tell you, they tell you to stick with them through the thick and thin and then when it's when it's thick they stay there because it's thick once the situation is thin and they can maneuver and handle it they want another they don't want another chick okay this lady stayed with this man for 13 good years through all problem all good time all bad time and they had three kids together right so now um, let, let's just do the math for a minute if this woman was 27 years old when she met this guy, 27 years plus 13. I'm not good at math, but that sounds more like 40. Okay? That sounds more like 40. So now when she's 40, which means he must have enjoyed her youth, her vibe, okay? The best of what she has to offer, unfortunately. And then now he wants out with another woman. Now, here's the problem. Women who should be more time conscious, the society has told you, don't worry. You know, motivational speakers, some religious leaders, they've told you it's all right. You know, you know he's going to change. Um, you know, um, yeah, things will get back together, miracle, all this stuff. I do, I'm a big fan of miracle, but... A reasonable miracle, okay? It, miracle happens once in a while. I'm not waiting for no miracle, <laughs> okay? If it's, not, if it's not becoming what you want, okay? Think again. Think again. So I don't want to see you out here cussing him out. I don't want to see you out here blaming him. You saw it coming. Let me tell you what you should do. When you get in a relationship, this is how you know if you should wait for the guy or the woman. If the guy is a military, you ask him, how long are you going to stay? If he says four years, you say, okay, in four years, I could have finished school and we do this and we settle and then it can happen. So you know everything you're working on, you're working toward four years. <laughs> Once it's three years and there's nothing to be done, you bring it back to his notice. Do not build any relationship like you. What are you building? 10 years relationship, five years relationship. And after 10, 12, 15 years of relationship, you are still unable to build a solar system. Because if you build a solar system in 15 years of relationship, I can understand. If you can build a solar system, if you can build an empire with you as the queen and him as the king, I don't know what you are building. So I'm just telling you this, that's the only way you build. You build with targets, okay? You build with targets. If the guy is not financially stable, 
listen, this is only one condition I can tell you to give him a break. Uh, right, okay, I'll give you two um, examples, but the condition is really one condition. One condition is he is moving towards his goals. Now, but the second one, which is periphery, which is at the t on the on top level, not on the deep level, is if the guy says, I'm in school. If the guy says, when I graduate, we're going to go there. If the guy or the woman says, I have to learn a trade, then we can go there. A anything other than this stuff, you know, you guys are playing. <laughs> you guys are playing. Now, I don't know who will laugh last, but I can tell you someone's heart is about to be broken. Someone's heart is about to be broken more than pieces of glasses. I don't know who, definitely someone. That's why women say, okay, we're waiting for you, but they're just looking around. Once the next guy comes in and looks serious, they, they cash out. I'm not blaming them. I'm not blaming them. But let me, let me tell you this if you're a woman. Don't... Don't pity a man to the point that you destroy your time. See, you have a biological clock. Men also do have a biological clock, but the difference between the men's biological clock and the ladies' biological clock is because the ladies, as God may have it, the ladies have a limited time for the clock to tick. The man can buy a whole new clock. A man can wake up at 40 and do the right thing for five years and hit it and hit it like shaka shaka boom boom and land and cement his legacy and girls in 20s will want him and be okay girls in 18 18 year old girls will be okay with to settle with him for marriage you as a woman once you get to 40 you know you could buy all the lies in the media you could you could listen to motivation telling you i'm young i'm strong no no you ain't you're not it's called biology, okay? <laughs> biology, you're streaking in years. You're aging and you're streaking in years, okay? So make your decisions wisely. Men can buy another clock. If you don't take anything out of this time planning, men can take another biological clock. They could switch it over. Women can't, okay? You can't buy a bigger clock. You can't buy a smaller clock. Your clock is your clock. Men can buy it. So we have to manage women's time right, but you have to make us manage it right. If I see you're not serious, oh, I don't want to lose him. He don't care, though. Does he not want to lose you? Okay? He doesn't care if he loses you, but you care all if you lose him. That'll make you wise, though. So, you know, that's all I have to say. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. It's chill, chilly degrees out here, bro, and I'm enjoying it, you know, at a park somewhere in New York City.